Welcome to Aviafly, the YouTube history channel with aircraft, airlines, and aviation podcasts. German language terms appear in this podcast. We can't pronounce these terms correctly. It remains with an English pronunciation, which the listener may forgive us and hopefully can take with great humor. Today's topic A, E, G, B, C, and J. Early on, Algemeine Elektrizitätsgesellschaft, abbreviated to AEG, set up an aviation department, which designed and built its first aircraft in 1910. By the start of World War I, AEG had established itself as an aircraft manufacturer and soon after that also received orders from the German War Ministry. Initially, only a small number of unarmed reconnaissance aircraft were needed. The B.1 developed for this purpose was a three-aisle braced biplane with unequal wings, a type of construction that was to become the standard for AEG aircraft. Almost the entire superstructure was welded tubular steel. The wings had two tubular steel spars with wooden ribs for the fabric-covered wing contours. An unusual feature of the landing gear design was a nose wheel activated by the tail spur directly below the engine. It was intended to protect the propeller if the aircraft attempted to stand on its head. The power plant was so oddly awkwardly placed that almost the entire engine, a 100 horsepower Mercedes D.1 disc engine, rose above the streamlined nose fairing. A large radiator grille was mounted on each side of the fuselage. In the B.2 that followed at the end of 1914, an attempt had been made to improve the basic concept. The biplane now had two stems, and the wings had been reduced in span, but no effort had been made to make the engine installation and the radiator grills more reasonable. This was followed in 1915 by the identical B.3 with the same engine type, but with some improvements gained from practical experience. It was to be AEG's last unarmed reconnaissance aircraft, for the enemy had left little time to develop weapon systems with which such an aircraft could be attacked and destroyed. It did not take much to develop the C.1, introduced in March 1915 and almost identical to the B.2, the best type of this series. It had the Benz BZ.3 engine, an inline 150 horsepower engine, and a swiveling machine gun in the observer's rear cockpit. The C.2 model from October 1915 was an improved version of the C.1. The C.1 had been designed to make it more agile so it could better evade enemy scouts and escape from dangerous situations. The C.2 was smaller and lighter, improving its speed and performance. This was soon followed by C.3 as an experimental model. Its lower fuselage closed the gap between the double wings. It gave the crew an unobstructed forward view over the upper wings. The pilot's cockpit was aft allowing the observer to fire his machine gun forward without endangering the propeller. However, it probably had various shortcomings because this imaginative design never went into production. This series' most thoroughly developed aircraft was the C.4, whose design resulted from the Army's growing need for aerial reconnaissance. It was identical to the C.2 but slightly larger. It had the more powerful D.3 engine, a fixed forward firing machine gun for the pilot, and a tail unit adjustable in three different positions on the ground. Production numbers of the C4 are not precisely known but are estimated at about 400. The C series was completed with experimental developments, including a C.4N night bomber almost identical to the C.4 but with a more enormous wingspan, three-bar wings, and the Benz BZ U1 engine with 150 horsepower. In addition, the basic C.4 model was developed to a two-seat C5 reconnaissance aircraft with a 220-horsepower Mercedes engine. In 1916, the Army formed the infantry aviation units as support and deep attack weapon. Since they had proved very valuable in limited areas of operation at the Battle of Verdun, a priority expansion and equipment program was now pursued their development. In a great hurry, AEG, therefore, first developed the J.1. AEG designed the J.1 hastily so that they would have more time to design a more suitable type for this purpose. 
The J.1 was almost identical to the C.4 but had a 200 horsepower Benz Beziv engine and was equipped with 390 kg armor plates to protect the crew and engine. Mounted on the rear cockpit floor were two LNG-0815 machine guns that fired downward at a 45-degree angle in the direction of flight, so they could be used to attack trenches or marching infantry columns. The Observer also had a Parabellum machine gun mounted on a bogey. The J.2, built in 1918, was similar but introduced some improvements in operation and tail surfaces. Over 600 of these J.1 or J.2 were built. Technical data. AEG C.4. Type, two-seat, armed reconnaissance aircraft. Engine, Mercedes D.H1 inline Cooper engine with 160 horsepower, 119 kilowatts. Performance, maximum speed 158 kilometers per hour, maximum flight duration 4 hours. Weight, empty weight 800 kilograms, max. Takeoff weight 1,120 kilograms. Dimensions, wingspan 13.45 meters. Length 7.15 meters. Wing area 39.00 square meters. This was the Aviafly podcast. We would be pleased about your like and your subscription because this is the only way we can continue to offer you exciting podcasts from the world of aviation. See you soon!